All right, gang, I got another savage lick for you guys there. This one is uh, based off of a couple of diatonic arpeggios just broken down into clusters and they make for cool little sweeps. Uh, what they are basically is in five note groupings, so you could play them as five against four. Uh, in this particular situation, I'm descending them in kind of a 16th note triplet type feel, so let's check it out. Also a reminder, folks, I do have a Patreon page and I have all kinds of great content already preloaded and much more on the way, so your support is always welcome. As you can see, it's at Jeffrey Marshall. That's Patreon. Link is in the description. Thanks so much for your support. All right, so the first part of the lick starts by ascending an E7 arpeggio from the fifth. And you can hear that's five notes. That actually sets up the pattern that we're gonna descend. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down that E7 from the B note. Then we're going to go down to G sharp here and descend a G sharp minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. Then we're going to go to the flat 7 of E, which would be D, and we're going to come down a dominant 7th arpeggio. Now we're going to do that G sharp uh, minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio again, but just down an octave starting on the 13th fret here with that G sharp note. And then the lower octave of that E7 arpeggio starting from the flat seven, D. So it's like little arpeggio clusters and I like to feel them as kind of a gallop or a 16th note triplet, but you could play them also as five against four. So basically I'm ascending the first part of that lick with uh, the arpeggio and that sets up the kind of cascading sweepy arpeggio clusters that we got going on there. So let's check it out. 